Good morning, good morning, good morning, Bible Lessons and Prayers Facebook group and YouTube channel. I am Elder Derek Strickland here, and I'm here with another edition of Meaningful Mornings. Uh, just to recap as to what Meaningful Mornings actually is, is um, we I choose a Bible scripture to go over for the day and just to keep, um, and, you know, just to stay in God's Word and to just um, take it a like a, a a handful at a time, not trying to take the whole Bible and digest it in one day, but let's just take some different passages of Scripture and let's read them, and then let's find out what they mean. One of the things I come to find out is that a lot of times uh, we can read the Scripture, right? We can all agree on what the Scripture actually says, but sometimes with the discrepancy or the 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 conflict, if you will, or the misunderstanding or, or the friction um, happens like with us, with people, is what it actually means. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually read um, this scripture and um, we're going to uh, see exactly what do it mean. Find out some of the, the background history um, behind this and, um, you know. Just get a better understanding. But at the end of the day, that's all I really want for myself and I want that for you. Like to get a better understanding of God's word, right? And what it's actually saying. So uh, before we get into this, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button and uh, let me know where you're watching me from, what church you go to. All right. So uh, I guess pray that you all have a good day today. And um, man, let's just make it a a great day, a God-centered day, and um, let's always keep them at center, head and center of our lives. All right. So, um, on listen, if you're on if you're on YouTube watching right now and you want to be a part of the Facebook group, there is a link, a link inside of um, this uh, this the description of this video. Go ahead, click that link, and you will get access to our Facebook group. Right. And if you also want to give um, to the channel, there is a cash out there where you can actually give to the channel. All right, that's for all of my people on YouTube. Or if you someone in the Facebook group and you want to give, just ask for their cash out, and I send that right, right over to you. Right, um, it's always a blessing to give. So um, let's go into the word. We're coming from Philippians four and six, and it reads as thus: Be careful for nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be known unto God. Let me read that one more time. Philippians 4 and 6. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by request. I mean, I'm sorry, excuse me. Let me start over. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with Thanksgiving, let your request be known unto God. Now that is Philippians 4 and 6, all right? So the Bible verse, Philippians 4 and 6, is the king in the King James Version read, be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be known unto God. This verse is part of a larger letter as the epistles to the Philippians, which was written by the Apostle Paul while he was in prison in Rome, A.D. 60 to 62. The letter was addressed to the Christian community in Philippi, a city in ancient Greece where Paul had established a church on one of his missionary journeys. In this letter, Paul encouraged the Philippian Christians to have joy, unity, and humanity in their relationships with one another and to have confidence in God's provision for their needs. He also provides guidance on how to live a godly life and addresses issues that were causing division and strife within the church. In this context of Philippians 4 and 6, Paul is encouraging the believers to trust in God and not to be anxious about anything. He tells them that they shall express their concerns, concerns and requests to God through prayer and petition and to do so with thanksgiving. The verse is closely related to the following passage, Philippians 4 and 7. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. This verse implies that trusting in God through prayer and petition brings a peace that transcends understanding. 
Another verse is closely related to this concept is from the book of Matthew. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what, what you will eat or drink or about your body, what you will wear. It is not life it is not life more than food and the body more than clothes. Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father needs them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your life? That's Matthew 6, 25 and 27. In these verses, Jesus encouraged his followers not to be anxious about the necessities of life, but to trust in God's provision and care for them, just as he cares for the birds of the air. In summary, my brothers and sisters, Philippians 4 and 6 is a part of a larger letter in the Bible written by the Apostle Paul, which he encouraged the believers to trust in God and not to be anxious about anything. He tells them that they shall express their concerns and requests to God through prayer and petition. And to do so with thanksgiving, it is a reminder to not let worries and anxieties control their lives, but to trust in God's provision and care. All right, I pray that you all get something out of that, something out of this passage of scripture, something out of the background of it and how God is looking for us to have trust in him and to know that he took care of the birds and the fowls of the air. How much more valuable are we, his sons and daughters? So let's trust in God and, and know that ultimately his will will be done. And uh, let's pray and ask God to help us to be acceptable to his will for our lives. All right. This is our uh, the edition. Uh, what's today? Tuesday? Yeah, this is the Tuesday edition for Meaningful Mornings. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pray, and then we're going to get out of here. So, uh, kind of Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you. Thank you for uh, your grace and your mercy. Thank you for your strength, your love, and your kindness. Now, Lord, just ask that you look on us and bless us. Keep us, O oh God. Help us to understand your word. Help us to get in your word. Lord, help us to apply your word in our everyday lives. Most importantly, God, ask that you help us to share your words with those that are not believers. Lord, help us to share your love, Lord, that people may understand just how great you are, how wonderful you are, how, how glorious you are. Lord, just ask that you look on every person that is listening right now. Lord, I ask that you would bless them in a special way. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you. Oh, God, you're so good. You're so kind. Lord, I thank you, God. You're better to us than, than we are to you. Lord, I just ask that you continue to make ways and open doors. Bless mothers and fathers and sons and daughters. Bless relationships. Lord, bless, bless these homes, God. Drive out confusion. Drive it out, God. In the name of Jesus, help us to have a better understanding. Lord, help us to, to show your love everywhere we go. Lord, just ask that you keep us, Lord. Keep us in the center of your will. Lord, we thank you and give your name to praise, glory, and honor. You bless your acts in Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen. All right. So, I will see you again today. It's Tuesday. I'll probably see you Wednesday, uh, tomorrow. I think I want to do these Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Uh, yesterday was my birthday, so I, I kind of slept in. Y'all forgive me for that, but I kind of slept in um, yesterday, so... Uh, but thank you, thank you, thank you for um, being a part of this Facebook group. Uh, remember, you can always, um, you know, add people to this group that you think would enjoy, um, you know, additions like this, Meaningful Mornings. Uh, thank you to every subscriber that is watching right now. Uh, remember, if you're not a subscriber and you're passing through, uh, you can always, um, you can always uh, uh, just subscribe. <laughs> you can always subscribe, all right? So um, I want to thank you for all of the new subscribers that are coming in right now. And, um, you know, let's just have a great day. All right. So um, with that being said, as always, I am Elder Derek Strickland. It's my wish for you that you all be blessed. Then go out there and be a blessing.